Hi guys, I'm John Lee and I'm trying to show our app called Light Ignite. Alright, here is our landing page. So you want to sign up. Alright, weird. Um, let's find, name myself Jane Bell. Um, example email um, mail email dot so there are two different types of users and one is our admin who has a rights to publish announcements and save the orders and then can edit them and delete them users cannot um, since I want to demonstrate the full functionality of the app, I want to go with admin for now. So, sign up. Alright, these are all the announcements we have. You can see they, we've been testing it really hard. Let's get rid of these. So, this delete announcement thing is only available for the admin users. No more users cannot do this. Way too many of them. Well, that's enough for now. So let's make a new announcement. Should be just simple. Hello world. So not right now there's a bug that we can you can be you can set the uh, <coughs> start time and the end time in the same time frame which is a bug that we, we should fix. So yes. Hello world. Uh that's from the notification on my phone. Um every time we make an announcement or safety to safety alert it sends a notification to your devices. So here's our hello world that we just made. Let's find it in the calendar tab. Now calendar only shows um yeah. Calendar only shows the <coughs> events that are happening in specific date. So it says hello world. You can click it and it says event detail and you can see this event so um if i made a mistake i could just delete it and you can go back to your announcement announcement tab and it says the hello world is gone all right so um i want to modify this hello notification thing edit it and i say hello notification Notification um, Hello the Same date Save So <clears throat> It's not there But You can see it changed from here It changed here Starts here this April 17th So if I go to calendar And Click 17th. Uh, excuse me, it's a bug with the uh, Android <coughs> emulator here. So, hello notification, hello, hello. Alright, the another big thing is the safety tab. So, whenever what happens in the um, emergency situation going on on the plant, we could just announce it. But, um, <coughs> specifically our safety alerts so um, hello safety tab all right it's, it's not created and that's from my phone that if the app pushed an announcement I mean a <coughs> notification 
if I mark this as a resolve, it will change to green. Um, sorry again, there was a bug from the emulator. All right. So if I just mark it as unresolve, you could see the change here. Same thing, we could edit it, edit it, ed edit it, just like the announcement. We just delete it just like the announcement okay All right the last thing I want to talk about is the absence forms okay so first name is my name is Sean and me employee ID we do not have any data from allied enterprises so right now we are just testing it with our own databases so these are the um, major emails that are registered in the our Firebase database um, let's send it to my own email data lesson should be here reason I'm very sick so what <clears throat> the absence form should do is it will send an send a um, email to to um, to the manager email that you that we um, selected here, but right now we are using a <clears throat> free service, so it could it could be delayed about fifteen to five hours. So it's very unreliable delivery time, but nothing we could do right now. So I hit submit button. All right? Now you can see that I did it in this time. So April 22nd, add me email is my own email and it says I'm very sick. So that's our demonstration of the admin part of our, our app. Users have the same thing, but they have limited um, usabilities such as they cannot make them, they cannot edit it, they cannot delete it, they could only do, but they could they could do absence forms, but that's about it. Uh, well, that's a bit, that's it for the uh, online demo. Thank you.